Hey there quirky peeps! Today we're going to look at all the Nexus events that are currently active in the MCU. By now, you all must be aware that a Nexus event is caused when an individual diverges from his predefined path in the Sacred Timeline. Before Loki's epic finale, we witnessed many of these events being pruned by the TVA. Loki took the Tesseract and diverged from his path, but the TVA fixed that, and they also pruned timelines where Loki survived Thanos' attack, a kid Loki killed Thor, Sylvie turned into a good person, and so on. But this video is not about those Nexus events. This one's about the branches that the TVA has not pruned after a change in their leadership. And now that we are approaching the Multiverse of Madness, I'm sure that these new branches will be contributing to the insanity. So far, we have witnessed at least 9 Nexus events that created new branches. Before we look at them, it would be nice if you guys would hit the subscribe button, and do press the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Okay, now first up we have Sylvie's actions. <laughs> Loki and Sylvie reached the threshold of time when they were in the Citadel. This is a place where all of time takes place at once, and even he who remains didn't know what was going to follow beyond the threshold. So the multiverse began to branch out as several Nexus events started to happen simultaneously. Then she killed he who remains, and the multiverse went into total madness with infinite new branches. Following that, we got the Nexus event of Steve Rogers. Well, that's right. Put the stones back, I thought. Maybe I'll try something that life Tony was telling me to get. Hulk understood the complexity of closing the branches and took the job very seriously. He tasked Captain America with returning all the stones to their respective years. And Cap supposedly did that. He pruned all the branches that the Avengers had created by taking the Infinity Stones away. But that obviously didn't do a lot of good because someone brought a paradigm shift into the multiverse. Anyway, after that returning the stones, he went back to 1951 and lived the rest of his life with Peggy Carter. As the Russos made it clear, this caused another Nexus event, and since it happened after Loki was apprehended by the TVA, we can assume that Cap's timeline wasn't pruned because of what happened to the TVA at the end of Loki. Similar is the case with Thanos. Ronan's located the Power Stone, I'm dispatching you to his ship. During Endgame, Thanos from 2014 took his entire army to 2023. Both Thanos and Nebula died while Gamora was left somewhere in 2023. This would have certainly caused a Nexus event, and I suspect that in the absence of Thanos, the main villain of this branch would have been Ego. Doctor Strange Peter got really worried when the people related to him were being harmed due to what Mysterio did. That's right folks, Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker! So he asked Doctor Strange to make everyone forget the fact that he is Spider-Man. Strange agreed, despite Wong's warning. Strange, don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. The spell was quite risky, but still. Strange tried to help Peter by doing what was asked of him. Regardless of his good intentions, things went horribly wrong as his spell misfired. And that probably caused multiple Nexus events, resulting in the whole live-action Spider-Verse. Now multiple Spider-Man villains are popping into the MCU, and even the other two Spider-Men might come in because of Strange. Wanda. Oh god. You don't know what you've done. Towards the end of WandaVision, Wanda left Westview and got isolated from the rest of the world. I believe that she could have been alone for more than a year, learning and practicing the spells in the Book of the Damned. As multiple branches began to grow out of the sacred timeline, one of those could have signified the moment when Wanda heard her children calling from an alternate dimension. This was probably the same time when Sylvie killed He Who Remains and Doctor Strange created the Spider-Verse. Wanda's further actions won't just cause a Nexus event, but they could give us multiversal chaos since she is a Nexus being. If you're not aware, Nexus beings are rare individual entities with the ability to affect the future. So after learning many new spells from the Darkhold, she might create a Nexus event by going after her kids or altering reality itself. Next up, we have the new Nexus events that have happened in the What If series. The first one was caused by the Red Skull. <laughs> the champion of Hydra has risen! Schmidt got his hands on the Tesseract a year later over here. Back in Captain America the First Avenger, he invaded Norway in March 1942. 
But in the What If universe, he did that in June 1943. And him not leading an invasion a year prior to Project Rebirth could have created the Nexus event. This aberration might have further led to Agent Carter taking the Super Soldier Serum. Yondu In MCU's main Earth, Yondu himself goes on to grab Peter Quill. But here, he sent his Ravagers to do the job. And that resulted in Kraglin and Taserface abducting the wrong child. You morons grabbed the wrong kid. Uh-uh, not so fast, Captain. Two sea holes, two hear holes, one eight hole, everything checks out. Does this really look like Peter Quill to y'all? They ended up picking T'Challa outside the Wakandan borders. Even though Yondu had the chance to return T'Challa and pick up Peter Quill, he didn't take it. And that caused the nexus event of this universe. From this point on, T'Challa became the infamous Star-Lord. Star-Lord! I'm a huge fan of your work! What are you doing here? That was not the reaction I was expecting. He was able to turn Thanos into a good guy about 10 years before the Titan was supposed to snap his fingers. In the meanwhile, Ego got his hands on Peter Quill, who grew up on Earth without his mother or a blue space daddy. What Ego does from this point on might also have implications on the rest of the multiverse. S.H.I.E.L.D. Excuse me? It's an accurate description. Sir, he's gorgeous. I need eyes in the sky. Barton. In another universe, S.H.I.E.L.D. caused a Nexus event when they recruited Hope Van Dyne. Then Hope was assigned a mission in Odessa. Originally, Black Widow was the one to carry out this mission, and the Winter Soldier spoiled it. But here, it was Hope Van Dyne and Bucky ended up killing her. This further led to Hank Pym becoming a murderous psychopath. He killed all the Avengers, allowing Loki to take over Earth quite easily. Now, Carol Danvers will form a new team of Avengers, who will go up against Loki and his Asgardian army. Strange's love for Christine Steven, I love you. In the OG Marvel Cinematic Universe, Doctor Strange and Christine had some romantic spark between them. But neither Strange nor Christine did anything about that. In What If Episode 4, we saw Strange taking Christine out for some creme brulee in his car. They were already involved with each other romantically, so this early realization of their love for each other must have caused the nexus event of the universe. And it further led to an absolute point in time where Christine was always meant to die. Strange became the Sorcerer Supreme in search of answers that could bring Christine back. He couldn't accept that the love of his life was truly gone, and that resulted in the destruction of the entire universe. There are several other nexus events that will be showcased in What If. They'll involve Killmonger, Gamora, Tony Stark, Party Thor, Ultron, Wanda, and several others. But now, it will be interesting to see how these events would contribute to the Multiverse of Madness. That's all for now. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!